Hi, hello, it is Brienne of The Huntswoman here at the underscore Huntswoman on all social media channels. And today we're just gonna dive right in. We're talking about swim. Specifically, I have a plus size swim haul with swimsuits from Target and from Co-Edition. Now we all know and love Target, right? That's like not brand new information as to what that store is, hopefully. But Co-Edition is a plus size retail website where they bring in clothes from a lot of the more like niche brands. And I love Co-Edition so much because I can shop from different plus size swimwear brands. Um, Alpine Butterfly Swim is one of my faves as well as City Chic. And instead of like having to finagle and pay for shipping on multiple plus size brands when I am trying to pack or, you know, get in a new season of clothing, example, summer, I have no summer clothes. Um, I can just get all of the stuff to come in from Co-Edition directly. So that's nice. It's one place, you can send back what doesn't work, get what does, call it a day. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first up on the, oh gosh, plus size swimwear pate is this swimsuit from Co-Edition and the specific brand that it is from is City Sheet Brands. And this swimsuit has a cool back clasp situation. I really like this because I'm bustier and I need more support in my bust, but also a lot of the swimsuits involve like tying knots, which is not super enjoyable to like take care of. Like, you know, after you get out of the pool, you need to hang your swimsuit up to dry, you need to unknot it. So then you're like undoing wet knots and that's no fun. So I really love that little feature. Super easy, boom. Um, this swimsuit also has um, a built-in shelf bra right there. So it has like padding and all that good stuff, but there is no underwire. So I know underwire can be very polarizing when it comes to bust bosom support, etc. I love a good underwire, but I also like don't feel the need to have all my swimsuits have underwire. Um, and then let's see any other cute key features. We've got this lace up situation, which is gonna be like a fun peekaboo moment. Uh, okay. And then there's also adjustable straps on this piece. Um, very important. Okay, and I am gonna be trying on a size XL right here I'm gonna put my measurements so that you can compare my measurements to yours and also like how I lined up against the uh, City Chic Co-Edition size chart. I really like the line of blue and peach. Mmm, super fun. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on. Okay, so here's the City Chic via Co-Edition swimsuit. Um, I like how these two panels here really emphasize like an hourglass situation. Something that I noticed immediately when I put this on is the swimsuit is two inches longer than the swimsuits from Target in here in the crotch area, which I really appreciate because then you know you're like getting more coverage and don't have to like worry about that. Um, it also comes down further on the hip, so my regular bikini brief underwear ends here, and it goes to here. And then there's a lot of butt coverage, so I don't have to worry about any sort of action happening there. I did adjust the straps to go all the way up on the adjuster. Let me straighten that out. Um, I feel supported, I feel good. Uh, there's no underwire, but there is like a stitch line um, at the waist under the bust. So that's good for support. I like this swim tie switch situation. I think it's super fun, like peekaboo. Um, the side, there is a little bit of gaping here, but it's a swimsuit. I'm not expecting it to be like super duper tailored. Yeah, I really like this. I'm excited to wear this in the backyard pool. Okay, so we'll start with the top. So it's like this bandeau wrap style top. There is underwire 
in this top, which I love. And then you can do strapless. I love all of these suits because they have the straps removed. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to keep track of those straps, but for tan line purposes and being able to remove straps, it's really nice that you can just put them on and off. And then uh, we have these fun gold clasps here in the back. Has a good amount of padding, so we don't have anything poking through. We don't want poking through. And then this is an 18, size 18. Bottoms for this are high-waisted, which I love. Boop. We've got some full butt coverage. Um, also, okay, I hope that everybody takes this the right way. One of the problems in plus-size swimwear is that they don't always widen the crotch like they give us the same crotch as you find in like regular size swimsuits. It's like cool, we added to like the waist, the hips and the bust, but this, you know, area right here also needs to be widened. So I made sure to look for that and target. And these are 1618W. The bottoms are $22.99 and the tops was $27.99. So that's like a $52 plus tax plus size swimsuit. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on, BRB. The top is a little too small, so I'll be sending this back and sizing up. I do like this like ruching, old Hollywood kind of reminds me like Marilyn Monroe. I love where the bottoms hit. Uh, I probably would keep this, even though there is like, it is like a little tight as you can see. I know with how much I wear swimsuits, that this is going to stretch out. So it'll be good for longer if I, I'm a little bit snug, but this is a little bit too snug. Um, you can see where that hits in the back. Okay, next up in our swim party is this striped two-piece swim set. Um, I got this in a size 18 top and bottom. Ba -doop, ba -doop. I like how the stripes, like these go diagonal and these go straight. And then similar to our uh, animal print suit are these gold clasps in the back. So if you want to do a whole bra situation where you put on the swim top like a bra, I'm probably just going to leave those closed and pull it over my head. Um, this suit does not have underwire. It does have some mesh cups padding. And these are sewn in. So I know with some swimsuits you can take those out. It has this wide band right there. Um, if we look at the bottoms, high-waisted bottoms, Oh, there's like an interesting aesthetic situation happening where there's this extension right here and then it's just flat right there. We'll see if we like that. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I wonder why they didn't do it on both sides. Do you see what I'm saying? Like on this side, there's like this extension at the top and this side doesn't have it. So I guess we'll see about that. Um, bottoms, same for the animal print suit. We got $22.99 for the bottoms. And then the top was $24.99. So again, this is like around the $50 range. This one is also a little snug. I probably would have sized up in this. I know that swim tops can get stretched out, um, but you can see it's just like a little too small with this like side action here. That's how you know a top is too small. In the bosom, this is very supportive. I feel very like, in here, it almost feels like a sports bra. Bottoms fit good. You can see my Tomboy X underwear peeking out. Here's the back. I think that's good. So yeah, bottoms, yes. Top, side. Okay, let's look at one pieces. So getting out of my comfort zone, I know it's black and obviously like I love wearing black, but I have never done like a low hanging swimsuit like this. And then the back has this like cut out string situation. 
okay, we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to overfloweth out of this. Uh, we have a halter top, top. And then this one, you have um, bus cups, no underwire. This is like very Palm Springs desert side pool. Uh, I have never worn a plunge swimsuit. Uh, I don't hate it. I think, what is, what size is this? This is a 1618. I would size up. This is the Target story of the day. But I got out of my comfort zone and I still, I do like this. Like I do think this is pretty fun. I would only wear this like in somebody's backyard pool. Oh, I probably here, let's, let's tighten this. And I feel like this is a new body positive level for me. Um, there's that lady on social media who says like saggy boobs matter. So that's fun. But yeah, I do kind of like this aesthetic. And this is a size 1618 and it was $39.99. Here's a close up on this like crochet situation. Okay, last but not least, it's our yellow friend. This is a, does this have underwire? No, okay, so this doesn't have underwire, but interestingly enough, it does have some boning here on the side, at the side seam. So I think to provide a little bit more support, also probably to help hold it up because the straps are removable, so that's smart. Um, it has some padding, and I bought this swimsuit, I hope you can see this, because of the multiple cut lines in the bust. I talked about this um, on my Curvy Couture uh, video, um, the importance of if you are a busty person, we want to see cups made out of minimum three pieces because it takes more pieces to cover um, a larger shape. So then we have like this bandeau front situation. It's got a shelf bra. This suit is an 18, size 18, 39 and 99. I'm gonna go try this on. This isn't gonna work. This, I'm too busty for size 18. I should have size up in this one. Also, I'm keeping my underwear on as I try these on, because I'm gonna be returning this one. So yeah, this, no, nope.